Hi, I'm Bruce Amaker from Turbo Training. We're going to talk about today's technician's toolbox tip on a 6 liter power stroke involving excessive carbon buildup in the system. You can have excessive carbon buildup on the EGR, which is commonly going to cause a hesitation on acceleration or cause a sticking turbocharger, which will give you a variety of drivability complaints and trouble codes. A couple of tips that I can give you is that I would not recommend cleaning the EGR valve. I would recommend replacing it as several updates have been made to the valves to make the newer valves work better. The turbocharger, on the other hand, can easily be removed and disassembled and cleaned, which is very common for carbon and rust to build up on the variable veins in this variable geometry turbo, causing a drivability or trouble code complaint. To fix a turbocharger problem, Remove the turbocharger from the engine, disassemble the exhaust side which has the variable vanes. This, these components can be cleaned by bead blasting them, reassembling them with a little bit of anti-seize compound, and then road test the engine for a minimum of 20 miles before giving it back to the customer. This is both an approved procedure from International and from Ford, and a very common complaint. If you are having trouble with excessive carbon buildup on a later engine from 2005 up, the factory is included an hour meter on these engines. Divide the engine hours into the mileage and you will come up with an average miles per hour figure. Industry standard averages are about 35 miles an hour. If the number you've come up with is considerably less than this, the truck has been subjected to excessive idle time or low speed operation. This will aggravate carbon buildup on the turbocharger vanes and EGR valve and cause increased service on these items. The truck shown in the photo has 14,043 miles on the odometer and 521 hours showing on the hour meter. If you divide these, you end up with about a 27 mile per hour average, which is a bit lower than what you should see. If there is a carbon buildup in this situation, a discussion should be held with the drivers about whether the truck sees excessive idle time. 